Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is Nico, and I'm stoked to have you here. So guys, today we're gonna be talking about hair, my hair particularly, how I style it, the haircut that I have, which is a little bit of a modern kind of shag. It is growing out a little bit. I had more bangs before, but I really wanted to discuss some of the products that I use. I wanted to discuss the difference between salon quality, stuff that you can sometimes buy at Sephora, buying from local businesses, things along the line of that. So having worked in a salon for not necessarily a long period of time, but my mom was also a hairstylist. So I do have a lot of uh, product knowledge and I've spent time learning about products and I've used them. So I've also tried Sephora brands like Briogeo and Bumble and Bumble, uh, Living Proof, stuff along the lines of that. I do know that Sephora does carry actually one of the products that I am going to be talking about, which is great and everything. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of tell you some product knowledge as well as, as well as some ways to increase longevity in your hairstyles and keeping your curls or your straight hair or whatever. Just a few little tips and tricks that I've picked up. So yeah, if you're interested in that, let's get into it. Let's do this. So the thing here is that when I want to, I can have curly hair. Um, I have a few pieces that don't work and I touch them up a little bit with a smaller curling iron or whatever. But if I wanna have like fairly big curly hair, um, that's definitely something that I can do. Sometimes I like to really enhance the curls and I don't care if they don't look perfectly natural or anything like that. I do have a video on that. It's kind of like a Carrie Bradshaw inspired when she's got her hair truly done. I know sometimes she has it wavy and stuff. When she's got her hair like the big curl. Gosh, I just like love that big hair, curly, messy kind of look. So I'm gonna link it right here and you guys can check it out if you want to, okay? But for this one, I wanted to do something that's more my kind of everyday. I kind of vary between a few different things. So if I want to leave my hair untouched by anything, air dried, no heat product or anything like that. I have a product that I will use specifically for that. Obviously I will use like a general detangler and whatever, but I will also use this product. I need to restock on it, but it is called Siren Waves and it just makes your hair so nice and lets your natural wave and curl and everything take shape. Like it's not crunchy at all. It's better than a mousse. It's amazing. I love it. If you want something like that, you should get that. <laughs> but the alternative here is that um, if I don't do anything at all to my hair, now this is pretty good. I kind of really loosely put it into a braid when it was drying, like a very, very loose braid, but it will get very, very puffy. I have very fine hair, but tons and tons of it. There is so much per like square inch. It's like two to three times the normal amount that a human has. And then alternatively, if I want to blow dry my hair straight, it will go pretty well straight kind of thing. It'll stay full of volume because again, I have so much hair, but it'll it'll go straight. If I want to air wave it, scrunch it, whatever, I can have really, really nice waves. If I want to curl my hair, loose, beachy waves, something like that, my hair will stay that way. If I want it to be extremely curly using a products, diffuser, a curling iron to touch up and whatever, it will stay very curly. I realize that uh, so many people do not have the luxury of having hair that cooperates as well as mine does, but it just is what it is. So I do get a lot of compliments on my hair when it's all styled up and everything. So previous to everything, I, I had kind of like a, a modern shag haircut. Mel, who cut my hair, I will link her down below because she is so cool. She loves like a 70s style hair sort of vibe, very modernized, so cool. She does the coolest cuts, but she cut my hair and, um, and then all of a sudden, you know, Corona happened. So I wasn't taking 
really doing a whole lot or going out or anything. So I did have bangs. And then I'm also going to link my grown out bangs, everything that you need to know about um, styling your bangs and stuff. That was, that was definitely a good video. So yeah, so it's definitely grown out a bit. I very specifically have these kind of smaller pieces here along the side and those tend to curl in and I kind of wave my hair out and not a little bit more than a beach wave because I find a beach wave to be very very subtle but a really nice subdued curl. Uh, just how I make it really big, very um, modern Farrah Fawcett I would say. It's very 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 similar. She's got really feathered hair though. So yeah I would say that this is kind of like a big curl, big hair beautiful Farrah Fawcett inspired 70s kind of vibe. So we're gonna see how I go from this to this. First things first, double shampoo your hair every time you take a shower, double shampoo. Your hair is going to feel so clean every single time. I'm not gonna get into all of it, but double shampoo your hair, please and thank you. When you have hair like mine, it's very fine, it's very thick, very dry, it's been treated a bunch, I've gone all kinds of blonde and whatever, the whole, the whole shebang. It's very, very dry. I don't use a regular conditioner, I use a mask. Anytime I want to rehydrate my hair like a bunch, I will use a hair mask. I know that a lot of people, especially on YouTube, it's kind of a weird thing, are very into like Sephora brand um, hair products and stuff and and guilty, you know, I've I've bought the Briogeo, like the mask and this and that and everybody's like, oh my god, it's amazing, it's the most amazing mask, it's amazing. And I tried the shampoo, I have a bunch of their just like products as far as, I have a curl cream, I have a volumizing spray, I have their leave-in um, repair and everything spray and I don't really like it. And then from working in a very professional salon, I kind of thought, okay, well this stuff is supposed to be the best. You know, the Briogeo stuff is supposed to be the best. So, you know, I guess my hair is just what it is. And then I started working in a salon where I started using new products, like salon quality products. And I was like, oh my God, what have I been doing? So Sephora actually does sell Kerastase. So Kerastase is amazing. Um, they have a line for everything between your hair falling out, between it being blonde, between it being dry or needing damage repair or you want to grow it long or you want to do this. There is absolutely everything that you can think of as far as their lines go. Their hair masks are insane. Pretty much everything's insane but their masks, wow. Like. Wow, wow, wow. My personal favorites are the Extension East line. It's really good for making sure that your hair is healthy and strong in order to grow longer. And I could feel a difference almost immediately with those. For someone who has, again, that kind of puffy, sort of frizzy hair, the Oleo Relax line. One of the girls was talking about it and talking about it, talking about it. Finally, I took a sample of it and I tried it and I sent her messages and photos and stuff. And I was like, oh my God. Oh my God, my hair has never looked so good from a conditioning mask. Like, and then there is a new line that I would really, really like to try. It is called the Genesis line. It's gonna do all the basic things as far as like hydration and blah, 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 all that stuff, but it's gonna help with strengthening your root attachment into your head to help with hair fallout, as well as with breakage and general strength and stuff like that. So it's, uh, it's, it's great for, you know, growing your hair longer, keeping hair in your head if you have any problems with that. I know stress has been a huge thing for people lately, so that was really good. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just uh, another line that I just can't wait to try, so I'm really, really excited about that. But yeah, enough about that. So after I've done all of my showering and everything is all good to go, the first thing that I will do, if and only if I'm going to blow dry my hair, this is a Kerastase. This is the resistance line. This is specifically for if you are going to blow dry your hair. It is, it's a thermique, so it's heat activated and it's gonna help with your damaged hair, protecting it, all of that. It does not feel good on your hair if you air dry it or anything like that. Don't use it then because it has a weird consistency. It needs to be blow dried. But yeah, so it's just gonna help with protection, heat protection, um, strengthening your hair, all of that. When, you, when you're buying from either a Sephora or something, but a lot of the time you have small businesses, small business salons and everything that we should be supporting right now during COVID. So that's kind of a big thing. If you want to buy any of these products, I would suggest finding a salon in your hometown that carries L'Oreal, Kerastase, Shuamora. That would be, my next thing would be the Shuamora. This is a multi-purpose all-in oil milk. So this is one of those 
kind of one thing does everything, like covers all the bases. So it's shine, hydration, heat protection, anti-frizz, anti-this, and blah, blah, blah. It's, you know, color safe, it's all those things. So I will use those two before I do anything while my hair is still damp, and then I will brush it through with a wet brush. I am very, very, very gentle with my hair when it is wet. It's when it's in the most fragile state, I do not want to cause any more damage or anything, so I'll use a wet brush, detangler, something along the lines of that, and I will very gently start from the bottom and work my way up. Now, I have already put these products in my hair, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started on um, sectioning out my hair and everything, but the last thing that I just kinda wanna talk to you that I, that I use before I put any heat on my hair, this is a L'Oreal Professional uh, product. This is from the Techna Art line. It's called the Constructor, so it is a thermoactive spray for texture and hold. So when you spray this onto your hair and then use heat styling, it's thermoactive, so it's going to help keep the longevity of whatever style it is that you're doing to your hair. So if it's curls or straight or whatever, it's gonna help hold it. Okay, so first things first, I have a lot of hair. So I'm probably gonna do about three sections. Around, take a little clippy. And I'm gonna try and leave any of my shorter bits, my little bits and bobbles here. So like my bangs that wouldn't necessarily fit into that clip. I'm just gonna do that and just clip it up. When I am sectioning my hair, so one of the things that a lot of people do when you're just like styling your own hair is when you split your hair and you split it down the middle in the back. So when you are done styling your hair, it can kind of create, if you do it all the way up, it'll create this weird separation and it can kind of look weird. So I try to do it so that I'm actually taking slightly off center a little bit. And then when I do my next layer up, I'll do it from the other side. So I'm taking a little bit more hair on this side and a little bit less on this side, if that makes any sense, just slightly, but it's just so I don't have a weird part all the way up the middle of my head. Then I'm gonna take this, give that a really quick, brush through. Now I do want to talk about this curling iron. Oh baby baby. Um, I got this from Amazon which um, I haven't really been buying from Amazon lately because you know Trump. <laughs> Amazon is a Trump supporter and I didn't know that until recently. So um, the thing is though is again support your buy local and everything but at the same time with COVID money has been a very tight situation so I did find this curling iron at kind of at the beginning-ish um, for very very inexpensive on Amazon. This is the Anju, A-N-J-O-U. This is a one and a quarter inch and it's amazing. It goes up to 430 degrees which is way too hot so I have it 380 currently and yeah it was pretty inexpensive and it's fantastic. The barrel is very long and um, I absolutely love it. So, you know, I know a bunch of videos out there right now are all about like Amazon finds and stuff and I love watching them, but at the same time I was like, ooh, you know, kind of, kind of an iffy thing. So first things first here. So um, I used to, and sometimes still do, where I will curl one direction and then the other to offset it, but lately I've just been kind of vibing curling all the same way. So we'll do this where I pull out, leave a little bit, twist. And I don't wanna cause too much craziness, so I'm gonna pull out like that. So now the end of my hair is not overly curled or anything. Let me get this other hair out of the way here so you can see. Pull through, out there. and then I pull it out. So I don't want the ends, the tips um, on the heat really at all. They're just getting a quick little once over just to smooth them out, but they're not, they're not being stuck in there or anything like that on a high heat. Now if you do curl the end too much or anything, or you get a kink or something, just quick go over it, should be fine. I 
know a lot of people will just like bring down the next section, but I don't want to personally, I hate this. I don't want to accidentally recurl something I've already curled. So I take a tiny elastic and I will just very lightly, like once over, put it around that just to hold that together. I'm gonna take these hairs here, kind of keeping them straight. Now that's weird. I'm just curling these hairs into under my jaw. This is kind of how my haircut works, so it really depends, but it's my aesthetic. So brushing your hair out in between is also just really important because if you have any like tangles or anything and you put heat on it, you're gonna like heat seal the tangle almost. So it can kind of make your hair a little like jumbled and then stuck that way. So just make sure that you brush your hair out. Okay, and now just because I had that, it's already like it mostly fell out, that little elastic, which is perfect. I didn't want it to do anything. Okay, now, so for my bang area, so I'm just gonna kind of take that section there. And I'm gonna curl away, but I'm not gonna like curl, curl it. I'm just kind of waving it out like that. I'm not like twisting, twisting all the way around or trying to wrap it around, I'm just lightly going over. Um, and then that kind of crown section of the back of my head, that part like right to my root tends to get very kinked naturally just from like sleeping and everything. So when I'm going over this part, initially I try to get really close to the root when I'm pulling out just so that it smooths it out a little bit. And then to the curl, I'll go up there for a second, just whoop, and then go away from it and not hold it there. But just again to kind of smooth that little area out. And then just again, touching it to this for like a second, just to the back there. Now just leave your hair not touched, not brushed out, not anything for just like a few minutes, let it cool down again before you do anything, okay? Now that we're done here, take a either a detangler or like a wide tooth comb kind of thing like this, and we're just gonna brush them out. Okay, final steps. I like to use a powder kind of texture spray. So I'm gonna use this one, which is a L'Oreal Professional, the Techna Art line. This is called Sauvage Panache, and it's pretty intense. Right away, sort of see, just like, boom, <laughs> compared to this side. And then also, if you guys are just interested, one last thing. I do use the Shuamora Nighttime Overnight Serum. So this is really good for just like repairing your hair and keeping it hydrated and everything while you sleep and also preventing damage from say your pillowcase or something, use a silk pillowcase, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, it smells divine. Everything about like Kerastas and Shuamora, they have the most amazing smell. So I'll just take a little bit of this and I'll kind of run it through my ends, not up too, too high, but just sort of like my mid length down to my ends and it smells amazing and it helps keep your hair good good and healthy overnight while you sleep i mean you don't have to do any work okay guys so this is it this is my modern shag farrah faucet inspired hair i love it i hope you guys love it and yeah this is just how i you know just the bigger the better thank you guys so much for watching and if you haven't already please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and if you want to make sure that you see all of my videos which i post on wednesdays fridays and sundays then just hit that bell and you'll get an alert for when i post a new video and i will see you in my next one bye